Thank you, thank you. No problem. <laughs> it's about to happen in a few minutes. This next level right here. I'll, I'll make sure. If I forget, I'll you know. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. 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 Uh, I just need to make sure they're not waiting. I, don't, I know that they're not waiting. Who are you going to celebrate? Because I don't hear y'all in this gym. It's all about to celebrate. Two hops this time. Two hops this time. Right foot it's about to get real spicy. Hands on their knees. Hands on their knees. Yep. Come on, Nikki. Come on, Nikki. Yep. Yep. Come on. Let's go now. I knew it was going to get spicy. June 19th, 1865, was the day that the last remaining slaves knew that they were free. Come. Let me repeat. All right, because uh, I come to you by way of the black church. I want to hear some amens and some hallelujahs. Because you can't tell me if I were the last person to find out I were free, I would shout and dance and celebrate just like they did. So on June 19, 1865, the last group, 250,000, were the last to find out that they were free. Come on, somebody. It's a celebration. Oh my goodness, uh, it's, it's really special to be able to perform for Juneteenth, uh, especially right here in Northwest Ohio. Um, it's just a special place, it's right in the middle of all the action, and uh, you know, we're all learning about Juneteenth more and more each year. It's been something that's been new for a lot of us, um, even in the black community, you know, it's something in black culture. Uh, we've known about it and you've heard some people talk about it, but you know, we really didn't necessarily celebrate it or didn't know how to celebrate it or where to start or where to go. And um, there's just so much of just the culture that we're continuing to learn and, you know, learning more about, you know, who we are and where we truly come from and just so many questions. But it's been really fun, you know, these past few years to learn about, you know, not only that culture, uh, but once we learn about it, you know, be able to express it to everyone else as well and get other people involved. And, uh, and I love just, you know, the awareness that, you know, we're really having. 